something important happened. Steve Keen of Iowa had lost the, uh, the primary. Now, this is a truly confused man. Check this out, what happened. I mean, I hope you remember what happened. I think everyone should remember what happened. This is a guy that is so conditioned. A leader of a great state of Iowa. That he tell the world in front of the United States of America symbols that he's white. <laughs> I mean, it's laughable. It's laughable. He's a, he's running around with the guy uh, in um, uh, in Houston, Texas, in the same mentality that they are white and we are feathered Indians and we are that Indians. <laughs> But the problem is that all he has to do is look rearward. All he has to do is turn himself and look to the symbols in his capital. Because he might be white, he might be an idiot in ignorant condition by somebody, by the English, what I always blame. I always blame the English. Now, you have to understand when I blame the English, I blame. The, uh, the culture, that culture of uh, European uh, colonialism, uh, that culture of uh, European uh, uh, society, they, they utilize its own people, their own people, they condition their own people uh, to, to go out and, and, and destroy the planet, colon, colonize all the people. It's not the population of England, it's the, the people who rule the population of England, if you will. And this is, this is exactly the, uh, the uh, how can I say, uh, ex the, 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 the greatest example of, of, of uh, that ideal, of, of English ideal, the I'm superior, you're not. Uh, Mr. Steve King. <laughs> He says that he is for his race, his white race, and he is for his God. They are, uh, what he call it, they are uh, uh, Protestant. I, f I always forgot I, the, the word that I utilize. Oh, evangelical. I am an evangelical. This guy is so conditioned. And 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 if, he, if you say that to... Uh, to a crowd that is conditioned that way, I can see it. I can see that you utilizing techniques to people follow you. And, and that is excellent way to do it. You know, if I condition you to be a color, a color white, and to be an evangelical, you will follow me. That is the reason Mr. Trump pushed out, out of the way the preacher, the evangelical preacher, at the cathedral in Washington D.C., and so he can get a, uh, an opportunity to take photos on himself with a Bible on his hand. That is conditioning. That is what is politics about. But when when you believe that technique, <laughs> that is the key. When you start believing that you are a color, that you are white, and you see it in the House of Representatives and tell the world that you are white and you are going to protect it, they're going to run you out of town, man, because you lost it. You're no longer living in, in the real world. And that is why all these protesters are losing the war. They might lose, they might want the battle. They might, they might running around in the streets and running, running everybody, uh, 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 running the streets, basically. And, and um, that is no how you fight. You, if you fight that way, if you fight calling yourself African-American, <laughs> if you fight 
calling yourself black, if you fight calling yourself white, if you fight calling yourself Hispanicals, Hispanicals, analyze this, analyze this. Oh, you are a Hispanic. Well, Steve King was speaking in front of the Roman, Roman symbols in the capital of the United States of America. Those are war Hispanics because they created Hispania, Hispania, a political and administrative region in the Iberia Peninsula, what, what today we call Spain, Portugal, Andorra, and France. So when Mr. Steve King sees out there and says he's white, <laughs> and that I am a Hispanic, or a Latin, even worse, a Latin, from Latium, guess what? The whole world is, is laughing at him. The whole world is laughing at him. Because people with culture, people who are truly Latin, <laughs> look at him and say, holy crap, holy crap. In the United States of America, people are insane. These people are brutal, you know. So I am very glad that the people of Iowa finally have realized that, hey, you know, this guy is a clown. And we need to get real of these people. And we need to continue to get real of these people. And we need to win the war. No battles. We need to win the war. We need to go out there and tell all these leaders, like uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mark Cuban, Mr. Mark Cuban, is running around calling everybody uh, uh, white and American. You know, Mark Cuban is not an American. He's not white. When we continue to call ourselves names that don't belong to us, robbing our identity from other people. Listen, we are losing the war. The English have conditioning us so bad, they are laughing. <laughs> oh, look at these clowns. <laughs> we just divide them up to crap. That is how it works. So guys, I'm betting Iowa Thank you, thank you, Iowa. Thank you, thank you for the people of Iowa of recognizing that we, the United States of America, we are no yes colors, we are no yes identity assigning or assigning. We are not from Hispania. We are not from Italy. We are from the United States of America and the American continent. This is a continent, a single one. So until we do not change that behavior of identif identifying ourselves erroneously, we will lose the war. And right now we are losing the war because the politicians, they condition themselves. And that is my... Uh, what I'm trying to fight here, what I'm trying to transfer alone, is that you politicians out there and you uh, uh, industrialist leaders, you have to recognize that you yourself are conditioned. Mr. Ted Cruz, you are no Hispanic. Mr. Ted Cruz, you are no Latin. Mr. Marco Rubio, you are no Hispanic. You are not Latin. No, you're not. You are United States of America senators. <laughs> so you need to start analyzing what happened with Mr. King and correct it. You can correct it. You smart guys. And and identify yourself as what you are. United States of America. Now if you want to go back to your roots, you can tell the whole world, I am an Iberian, I have no idea which tribe in Iberia you are from, it could be Catalan, Aragonese, 
you could be Celto, you could be Basco, you could be Occitanian, Leonese, you could be Portuguese, you could be... There's so many tribes out there. You can say that. My family came from, from that origin, a European origin. Or you can say, I am from Ghana, I am from South Africa, I am from the African continent. I am from one of the major seven tribes, African tribe. You can say that. I am a Zulu. That is where my root is. But today, I am the United States of America. So, Steve King, you too are a United States of America uh, national. So we can all just go out there and beat, beat you up. That is, no, that is not how we win this war. We need to recondition you. So Mr. Steve King, what you need to do is get on an airplane, come down to Texas and hang out with me for like two, three days. And I can recondition you. I can fix your head. I can tell you that my skin color is more pale than yours. And I can trace my biology farther than yours, guarantee you. And I know because your name, King. The name King is a made up name. So when you, when you realize that you are not the superior one, when you realize that I can trace my biology to a true Aryan nation, with, with the with it, it's it's just crazy what you're saying, and then you realize, oh wow, this guy that I call Hispanico and immigrant and stupid and a truck driver that have no idea what he's saying on a YouTube channel is going to be actually correct. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Steve King decondition yourself recondition yourself or decondition yourself uh, I, I never I never figured out the correct way to say it <laughs> so if any any one of you out there can tell me either way you, may, you have to make a change you have to make a change because the people of Iowa is telling you to make it. The people of Iowa is removing you from their society. So you can change. And the people of Iowa and the people of the United States of America, they are good people. They will give you a second chance. They will give you a second chance. I will give you a second chance. I will give a second chance to anyone who can who can fix behavior can fix and understand that their previous behavior is a screw up, really a screw up. Because the moment that you think that you are superior, somebody else is going to come in and say that you're not. So you guys out there calling yourself white and black and brown and Hispanic and all that, be aware that I can come along and destroy your identity. And destroy your identity with facts. No, yes, for being mean. I can destroy all of your identity with truly facts, with data. So fix yourself. Do not allow the English to assign you incorrect identity. And long live the United States of America. And long live the symbols of the United States of America. The Roman symbols, the facets, protecting the flag of the United States of America, the Aguila in the House of Representatives, the symbol of power of the United States of America. <laughs>